Hi, welcome to Lakeshore RV Center. Let's take a look at your new Carbon 358 Toy Hauler 5th Wheel. Up front, you're going to have a little mirror to look down into the bed of the truck to make sure you line up and hitch up right. You've got your Rotaflex pin box that's going to take away some of that rocking and motion that we get when we tow a 5th wheel down the road. We've got your own and generator all ready to go. Up here we've got some docking lights and go ahead and turn those on and that's going to light up the LEDs in your front cap making it look ever so beautiful. On the side here we've got one of your bedroom slide outs. Inside the battery compartment bay you've got your auto leveling system and on the door some reminder instructions on how to operate that. I'll go ahead and send you over an additional video explaining how that works as well. Inside your command station, you've got all your hookups. So you can bring them through the hole in the bottom, hook up your water for your sewage flush, filling your fresh water holding tank or running off of city water, winterization, and then a handy dandy outside shower. There is a hose for that, and I'll show you that in just a minute. We've got your quick battery disconnect. It's in the on position, so the battery is on. Turn it off, and it kills all the power uh, draining your battery from your camper hook up for your cable and satellite. You can hear your furnace running. A little chilly so I wanted to get it warmed up in there for you. Access to your water heater. Exhaust for your onboard generator. And there's those jacks for that leveling system. Coming towards the back here we've got your fuel station. And then to be able to turn on the pump uh, for that so you can uh, fill up your toys. Your 50 amp service cable is hooked up and working. We've got your ladder mounted on the side to access your serviceable roof and I've got your patio deck kit out showing it off in all of its beauty. Super simple setup. We've got easy release connects for the cable system that holds it up so when it's time to load up the toys you just disconnect those and away you go. Go ahead and take a look at the rest of your beautiful rig. We've got the LED lights underneath your power awning. Access to your compartment for your hydraulics. Access to this beautiful service tray that pulls on out. There is that blue coil hose for your shower on the other side of the camper. And then we do have access to hook up cable and satellite and power if you want to put a TV outside as well as some additional utility outlets. Coming inside here, the first thing we're gonna see is a cabinet that's hiding all the business into the camper. So here we're gonna have checking for your gray tanks, black, fresh water, battery, which is full, and then also opening your slide outs, working the water pump, which we want in the off position, being that we are not using our water right now, and then water heater, gas and electric, lighting, speakers inside and outside and then we also have your power awning and your generator start here we've got your fuse panel and breakers co2 monitor and propane gas that'll go off if anything's leaking and your keys are right there on your kitchen faucet beautiful led lighting all around good cabinetry storage Got some lights to light up your stove top. To access that, you're going to take this lid, flip it over once, flip it over again. It's going to give you a nice backsplash and access to your three burner cooktop. You do also have a hood fan and some LED lighting underneath as well. 30 amp service microwave, and we do have your fridge on getting cold. Coming around, we've got your USB ports, LED lighting switches, heat and massage, and a little LED light inside your cup holders for your two end recliners. Got the radio cranking. Let's go in the garage and check it out. Hook up for washer dryer if you ever choose to add that on later. You do have a switch in the bathroom for your overhead lighting. And then up here underneath the cabinet, you're going to have access to uh, your rear awning, your electric beds, 
and all of the lighting as well as a fantastic fan hook up if you ever want to put a TV in here cargo carpet a ladder to access the loft and the upper bunk steps to come off your patio deck kit we've got a sewage hose for you some electrical adapters three season garage door just can't help but walk out on this beautiful patio deck kit and there is your backup camera prep and your power awning we'll go up front real quick and take a quick look at your bedroom and bathroom on our way up we'll notice we got our thermostat turned on and uh, some more LED lights Inside on the shower, there is a latch right there. You're going to want to make sure that's latched and secured to keep this beautiful glass door uh, doing what it needs to do, which is staying in place. You have access to a fan above, foot flush toilet, and your queen size bedroom. USB ports hiding all over the place and being that you do have a second AC you're also going to have a second thermostat in here that is just for that AC and a nice spot to hook up a TV if you so wish you do have one more um, slide box here oh hi <laughs> and then uh, get this kind of hard to do the bed with one hand but you know it lifts up so We'll go ahead and that's it, guys. That is the Carbon 358 Toy Hauler 5th Wheel. Look forward to seeing you soon.